Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Oh my goodness, look at this house. There's a lot going on in here. And Farmer Earl is feeling really crowded and he's not happy about it. He goes and gets some advice. Let's see how that works out. The title of this book is A Crowded Farmhouse Folk Tale. This book was written by Karen Rostoker Gruber, illustrated by Christina Swarner. And this book was published by Albert Whitman and Company. Get ready, friends. Here we go. Brand new book, by the way. Farmer Earl, his wife Marge, and too many children to mention lived in an itty-bitty house with an itty-bitty door, an itty-bitty roof, and an itty-bitty floor. Their hugely huge family could hardly move. There was no room to sit. No room to pace, no room to rest, no extra space. It's too crowded, complained Farmer Earl. So he went to see the wise woman in town. How can I help you, she asked. My hugely huge family is too large for our itty bitty house. Put all your ducks in your house, said the wise woman. How is that going to help, wondered Farmer Earl. But he went home and did as he was told. Putting all the ducks in the house proved to be a bad idea. The ducks flapped, the ducks snacked, the ducks waddled, the ducks quacked. There was no room to sit, no room to pace, no room to rest, no extra space. It's too crowded, complained Farmer Earl. So he went back to see the wise woman in town. How can I help you today, she asked. My hugely huge family is still too large for our itty bitty house. Put all your horses in your house, said the wise woman. How is that going to help? wondered Farmer Earl, but he went home and did as he was told. Putting all the horses in the house proved to be a very bad idea. The horses bucked, the horses chomped, the horses neighed, the horses stomped. The ducks flapped, the ducks snacked, the ducks waddled, the ducks quacked. There was no room to sit, no room to pace, no room to rest, no extra space. It's too crowded, complained Farmer Earl. So he went back to see the wise woman in town. How can I help you today, she asked. My hugely huge family is still too large for our itty bitty house, he exclaimed. Put all your goats in your house, said the wise woman. How is that going to help, wondered Farmer Earl. But he went home and did as he was told. Putting all the goats in the house proved to be a disaster. The goats chewed, the goats licked, the goats bleated, the goats kicked. The horses bucked, the horses chomped, the horses neighed, the horses stomped. The ducks flapped, the ducks snapped, the ducks waddled, the ducks quacked. There was no room to sit, no room to pace, no room to rest, no extra space. That's enough, shouted Farmer Earl. So he went back to see the wise woman in town. How can I help you today, she asked. I've had enough, shouted Farmer Earl. I did what you said. I put all the ducks, 
horses and goats in my itty bitty house and it's still too crowded. There's no room to sit, no room to pace, no room to rest, no extra space. Put your ducks back in the pond, your horses back in the pasture, and your goats back in the barn, said the wise woman. How is that going to help? wondered Farmer Earl. But he went home and did as he was told. Then Farmer Earl walked into his house. There were no ducks flapping, no ducks snacking, no ducks waddling, no ducks quacking. There was no horse bucking, no horse chomping, no horse neighing, no horse stomping. There were no goats chewing, no goats licking, no goats bleating, no goats kicking. Farmer Earl, his wife Marge, and too many children to mention smiled. Now there was room to sit, room to pace, room to rest, and extra space. Oh my goodness. A crowded farmhouse folktale. Hmm, kind of a mysterious story there. That wise woman was very wise. I missed you friends. Mwah.